so now topic is exceptions in hybridization hybridization is one of the uh, simplest topic we can score from this easily but there are some exceptions where uh, like uh, we can make some mistakes if we are not sure about the structure so first example is pcl5 so if you if you see the pcl5 in the liquid state we know that this undergoes sp3 dehybridization and the shape will be the trigonal bipyramidal right but if they ask a solid state in the solid state in the solid state pcl5 will exist as a pcl4 plus and pcl6 minus okay now we can't say the hybridization of solid pcl5 is sp3d we can't say sp3d if you can if you uh, answer sp3d that means that is wrong so here we have to uh, see uh, hybridization of both of these complexes uh, just remember phosphorus is a fifth group element just and we have a positive charge so we will re we'll remove one electron one electron from here that means this will uh, coordinate with the four chlorine atoms total bonding electrons are four so this will be sp3 hybridization and if you take pcl6 so here one two three four five and we have one negative charge so each chlorine will coordinate with each electron so total we have a six electrons okay six electrons means we have this one is sp3d sp3d2 okay if uh, the question is the what is the hybridization of solid pcl5 we have to answer sp3 and sp3d2 okay and then we have a pbr5 so in the liquid state it, it this is also be trigonal bipyramidal and now we'll go for the solid state so in solid state pbr5 will exist as pbr4 plus and br minus in case of pcl5 pcl6 minus is existing but in case of pbr5 pbr6 minus is not existing because the size of the bromine is bigger in bigger so because of that reason pbr6 minus does not exist and if they ask us hybridization of pbr5 in solid state we have to take this one so this hybridization will comes out to be sp3 okay so in the liquid state pbr5 hybridization is sp3d but in the solid state the hybridization is sp3 and if you see the uh, pi5 okay if you see the pi5 so iodine is even more bigger than the bromine so because of that reason means uh, it will not exist in the solid state in the in the form of ions what we are getting for pbr5 and pcl5 so these are these are about the pcl5 pbr5 and pi5 and now we'll go for the beryllium, beryllium chloride so this uh, many times they have asked in an examination point of view what is the hybridization of beryllium cl2 so in the normal state this is a sp because uh, it's in the linear shape but if you see then the if you see in the solid state in the solid state this undergoes sp3 hybridization because each beryllium attaches with the two chlorine atoms sorry four and like this the structure will looks like this so this will be in a tetrahedral shape so this hybridization will be sp3 and then we have a sbf5 this is also very important sbf5 so in the liquid state it exists as a monomer okay in that stage the hybridization is sp3d so this is having a trigonal bipyramidal shape whereas if you see the solid state in the, in the solid state it exists as a tetramer okay so here this is having an octahedral and hybridization is same sorry sp3d2 
in the normal liquid state this is the trigonal bipyramidal and sp3d hybridization whereas in the solid state it exists as tetramer so we have a octahedral structure and sp3d2 hybridization and if you see the structure we have sb like this and and these two fluorines further attacks like this so tetramer means four times like this okay so this is about the spf5 and in even xcf6 this is having a distorted octahedral because here we have one uh, lone pair electrons lone pair so that lone pair will occupy this position so because of that reason this is having a distorted octahedral structure and uh, these are the some exceptions uh, for uh, hybridization and uh, there is another concept uh, in this so we have a N, uh, methyl radical okay so what is the hybridization of methyl radical so methyl is a carbon is a fourth group element one two three four and three hydrogens are involving in hybridization hybridization so this is having a sp2 hybridization so this lone pair whatever present here that is not involving in the hybridization okay now we'll go for no2 here also same here we have a one single electron so this we can call this one as a unhybridized pure p orbitals okay and now the difference between the this radical this uh, odd electron and this odd electron is this is not involving in the hybridization but this is involving in the hybridization the concept which is involved here is when central central atom is attached to the more electronegative atom so what will happens this more electronegative atom takes electron density from the central metal at central atom so because of that reason if this is become electron deficient and the size of this nitrogen is further is decreasing so when it became electron deficient this this uh, central atom will take this uh, odd electron into its and it uh, means I, I am trying to say that the electron density of nitrogen is decreasing so because of that reason the nitrogen can take this uh, odd electron and now this odd electron will involve in the hybridization when central atom attached to the less electron negative atom in that case the single electron will not involve in the hybridization so it will remain as a pure p orbitals but when we have a oxygen like uh, oxygen uh, when we have more electronegative atom in that case this single electron will involve in the hybridization the same examples we have clo2 clo3 and cf3 so here also we have a single odd electrons in these cases the odd electron which is present on the carbon that involves in the hybridization because okay, because uh, here in case of cf3 the carbon attached to the more electronegative atom that is fluorine and in case of here clo2 chlorine attached to the more electronegative atom that is oxygen and then we have like uh, next we have b2 h6 is a diborane so we have boron which is having 1s2 2s2 2p1 in the first excited state it exists as 1s2 2s1 2p2 so it's supposed to undergoes sp2 hybridization because only three uh, valence electrons are available but if you see the boron structure diborane both bor both borons are sp3 hybridization both are sp3 this is sp3 and this also 
sp3 because so here we can see a uh, this bond this banana bond this is actually having a two centered sorry two electron three centered bond okay so these two are involving in a sp3 this is also sp3 and this is also sp3 and this vacant orbital and another uh, vacant orbital of boron will couples means like this also involves in sp3 hybridization okay so that's why we are calling this one as a three center two electronic bond and next clo3 we have a structure like this cl double bond o and this lone pair sorry this electron will involve in the hybridization because the chlorine is attached to the highly electronegative oxygen electronegative oxygen so these, these are the some exceptions we have uh, for this one and I, I forgot to say this one PI6 will exist as PI4 plus and I minus I made a mistake uh, before I said that uh, this will not exist sorry for that so here uh, pi6 will exist as pi pi4 plus it, it it will not exist as a pi6 minus because of the so the size of iodine is more so here also if they ask uh, the solid state hybridization of pi6 that will be a sp3 and this is about the uh, some exceptions and we can take n2 n2o5 also in the solid state it exists as a NO2 plus and NO3 minus and when we take N2O4 it exists NO plus and NO3 minus if they ask solid state hybridization of N2O5 N2O4 if they, they did not give the direct options if they ask indirectly so you can choose these two hybridization for this one and uh, iodine will exist as i3 plus plus i3 minus so these are the some exceptions um, i found in a hybridization concept if you have any doubts you can uh, write in the comment box